Have you found out sometimes these two people say they are workers and then the pastor of their local church is sitting down with them for one hour, two hours, three hours. The two sisters and they are working in the same section of the church. Then they are choir. But you notice they never greet each other. Hey, Sister Purity. That's not his sister, that's madam. That's lady so and so. That's madam so and so. We are children of God. Uh uh, are we? I mean, aren't we born again? Uh uh, are we? We are servants of the Lord. You are in the choir together. And you are not even greeting each other. <laughs> now you know what, please. Let's settle. Eh, hey, Pastor. Settle. Eh? Hey? Pastor, do you see what she did to me? Did you see her? Do you see how she was talking to me like a child? Treating me like I am a child, child in children's church. That's when she stood up in, in the choir practice. I was, I was, I was, I was telling, telling choir master to put off my mic during ministration because, because I'm singing off key, embarrassing me in front of everybody. Hey, please, sister, purity. Forgive and forget. No, pastor, I cannot forgive. I cannot forgive. You, you must understand that what she did, what she said is very painful. I cannot forgive her. Who needs your forgiveness? Okay. Who needs your forgiveness? Okay. If you don't behave like a child and act like a child, I wouldn't treat you like that. Yes. How will you be singing another key when others are singing on the right key? I agree. Oh, you will off your mic again and again. You cannot be talking to me anyhow. You can't learn how to sing. Nothing like that. You can't learn how to sing. There is nothing like that. You have to get away if you can't get out of the pastor. You don't have respect. You don't have any respect. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's about time for morning service. Now you go to the church now and comport yourself in the choir unit so that you can catch up with your rehearsals. And let me tell you this, after the service, you must still come back to see me. We need to deal with this. Ah, there you are. There you are. That's, that's how you spoil the church. What you feel singing on Sunday, it should not be there. Fine. How was the children's program? It was fine. I, I hope you learned a lot from there. Yes, ma'am. I hope it's not that you went there to play. No. Okay, welcome. How about bro Believe? Was he there? Yes, he was there. He was there. Yes. How about bro Prosper? He was there. Even ministered. Eh? Bro Prosper ministered? Yes. Wow. Must have been interesting. Yes. Welcome. How about pastor's wife? Did you see her there? Yes, she was there. She even gave us some gifts. Are you serious? Yes. I did not bring for me. What did she give you? We have even finished it. You finished it? Yeah. Ah, uh -uh, Joseph. What is that in your hand? It's my Bible. No, I mean this one. Oh, now can I explain what? I borrowed it from Moses. Moses? Yes, yeah. Which Moses? Chica's brother. Chica! Hey, Joseph! You will return it, though. You will return this book back to Chica. Return it back to their family. This book is not entering this house. Take it and return it. If you want it to be well with you in this house, return this book. You are not coming in with this book. But why? Why, why, why not? Why not, Joseph? I've told you before that that family is wicked. Chica is wicked. The brother is wicked. That family is evil. Return this book. But Chica told me that you have been fighting each other, you and your sister. Is it true? Joseph, that Chica is a wicked woman. Man. She's very wicked. Their family is wicked. Eh? How will not fight each other? She's wicked. Return it. But you remember what Daddy told us? Daddy told us that the Bible said that we should follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see God. And if you want to see God, you must follow peace with her. Go to your way. And let all that malice go. All that wickedness, let it go. And all the lying, let it go. Before we can be really people that will serve the Lord in an acceptable manner. Good afternoon, sir. Not Mr. Purity. How are you today? I'm ah, fine, sir. Thank God. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Ah, no problem, sir. It's fine. I want to say yesterday after the service, but before I treat what I was doing, I've already gone. Oh, okay. Uh, you were the rehearsal, but you're not at the choir stand. What is the issue? I'm sorry, sir. Okay. I should have told you earlier. All right, okay. Sir, so for now, I'm just taking my time to pray. Okay. 
Okay. I, I noticed that there are some things I need to settle in my life with God. So um, it's a sober moment for me, sir. I'm just, I just want to pray for now. So um, maybe when I'm done praying and I get back on my feet, I can join the workforce again, sir. But for now, I'm praying. If you come, that service is important. That service is essential. And that service is very necessary for you. Then do what it takes. Put yourself. Take all those things out of your life and say, Lord, here is my life. I lay my life on the altar. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. It says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And it says in 32, And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. You see, as workers and children of God in the church, it's not expected that you begin to fight each other. Malice in the choir, malice in the ushering team, malice within the coordinators, and then because there are disagreements here and there, instead of you to speak to one another and forgive one another and forget as jesus christ taught us and then you continue fighting each other you don't greet each other that's not in the bible and so if you are workers in the household of god you live by example and so i would not like to hear this eus here and there because if you know your life is not right with god then it's not right for you to stand and serve in the church of god is that taken so I pray God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the choir master will come now and then, you know, round up with you uh, while I wait for Sister Purity and Sister Chica to see me in the office. God bless every one of you. I believe that by now, both of you have settled and that, um, you know, things like strive and grudge are no more in your life because when we say we are children of God, then we should not find such things in our lives. So, I believe by now you have settled before God and there are no offenses between the both of you. Uh, in my own heart, it's finished. And for me, God has been dealing with me. And God has opened my eyes to see that the way we were fighting each other, keeping malice with each other, it was not right at all. And I've, by the grace of God, I've made my way right with God. I now see my sister here. Mm -hmm. My friend, mm -hmm. I cannot have a problem with that because she's a sister in Christ, just like myself. So she's a friend to me now. I don't have any problem. With that. So what of your sister Chica? So it's finished. We are now friends. Mm -hmm. It's finished. We are upset with it, sir. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Then let us pray. <gasps> ah, where's Pastor? Jesus, what is happening? Where's Pastor? Pastor! 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 I cannot find Pastor! Where's Pastor? He wasn't here. I cannot find Sir Pretty. He wasn't What's the point serving the Lord here? What's the point singing here? What's the point ushering here? What's the point doing the work of God here? And then when the trumpet sounds, you are left behind. You're like, you'll be like the bus conductors. Helping other people to go in to that bus and then the bus leaves and you are left behind. When you say you are ministering, you say you are preaching, you say you are singing, you say you are serving the Lord, you say you are working in the church and yet your life is not tried and the foundation of God standard sure. Having this seal is not going to change that standard for anyone. And if you are just serving the Lord, and there's no purity there, there's no sanctification there, there's no holiness there, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. The Lord is going to prepare us tonight. He'll purge us tonight. He'll purify us tonight. He will cleanse us tonight. You examine yourself. You examine your heart. You examine your action. Rise up and let's go for the purification. Let's go for the cleansing. Let's go for the sanctification from the hand of the Lord.